Hello again, everyone. It is obviously your Black Knight. See, here we're back into Microsoft Freelancer. I thought, you know, I really, I really want to spend a little bit more time refamiliarizing myself with the systems, and why not bring you along, tell you some of the stories of what's gone on here, and you know, what, what better way to start than Omicron Major with my Knight Raider? Now, Knight Raider, this is my original Knight Raider was on the old Get On It server, and I created one here when I came to <laughs> I forgot I'd set that up to actually put the website on when I start this up that's an interesting thing but my Knight Rider this is my I don't care about the uh, the reputation character thing but really the only people who are you know on my case here are the the nomads and the ironically the outcasts and the Xenos because I've been doing work for the order and apparently there I think I justified this story wise and that the outcasts are actually you know, been taken over by, some of them have been taken over by nomads, and that's why they're attacking the order. It's just kind of how it goes. Where I'm at, I want to say, I think this is Sentinel Station. Sentinel Base. Let's see, where are we? Sentinel Base, Omicron Major System. Now, the Omicron Major System is a modded system here at the 24-7 Freelancer Universe. And uh, for the longest time, it had, uh, a re had really good anti-nomad missions where you could pick up nomad stuff. And I think, let's see, can we see Omicron Minor? We can see ourselves on the main map here. Where are we? No, I think we're... Okay, we're off here. And that, that's Omicron Minor. And I, I have a ship in Omicron Minor that I would dump nomad weapons to because you could do the, do the missions, get a lot of money, and then pick up nomad weapons. But... For some reason, later on, well, here we have a rumor. Where's my sound? Why is my sound not working? Okay, well, here we have a little story about Lucky Logan Connor. It was one tough nut, as anyone will tell you. He'd take on an entire patrol of Corsairs, picking them off one by one, based out of Freeport 5 to be... Close to his favorite prey, he liked living life on the ragged edge. His luck finally ran out in 780 when he ventured too far from the safety of the Gredos Cloud in the Corsair's home territory of Omicron Gamma. Yeah, it happens. A mass of Corsairs pursued him back into the nebula. As rumored, they didn't actually dispose of Connor on the spot, but merely disabled the ship and let him die a slow death by asphyxiation. What is wrong with my... Let's, let's go into this. What's, let's go F1... Options. Do I have something turned down? Audio? Oh, here we go. I must have, I must have turned stuff down. Report 7 was destroyed. So we can... Yeah. We can hear that again. You're back. Think you have anything else for me? Well, just between us, I have heard a rumor. All right, keep going. Okay, here's what's going on. Okay, so at least we've established that it works. Could be useful later. Thank you. Wonderful. You won't regret it. I can't think of a single way that would be useful later. And this guy wants me to fix my rep. Wait a minute. This guy has a mission? Trent, I'm really very pleased to see you. Thanks. What's next for me? I might have a proposition for you. What else? Sounds okay so far. This is the first Nomad mission I have seen in years. It's a deal. Excellent. Good luck. What? This is... We are so lucky here. <laughs> a mission on a Sentinel base. you got to be kidding me. And by the way, when we first came to... Uh, when you know, all of us from the Get On It server came here, when we, we when the Get On It server in Australia shut down, and everyone had to migrate to a different server, and they actually got to see how I could play with the good thing. That is a bit loud. Enemy ships will be at the mission waypoint. Refer to the nav map for specific instructions. Let's, let's tweak it a little bit. Freeport. check it out. Freeport 7 was destroyed for it. The man who had it was killed in front of me. That's a nice little story, but we're going to go return to the game. Set the waypoint. Like I said, I have not seen a mission here at Sentinel Base. But anyway, when we first came to the server, we called ourselves the Sentinels. I forget why. But it was... And then we had... Because everyone still had their clan identity, we were running two tags. So it was like Sent, 
on one side and then whatever. Like I had base on the end of my name, so we were double tagging it so that we were we could meet the requirements of uh, of being a clan on this server because they were pretty. They were, we needed you know more people than we had to do a clan properly, really. Only so many people came over, so we banded together. And then when we all kind of got ourselves built back up, a lot of people kind of stopped playing uh, Sentinels. They did their own thing. And eventually I just brought back the base tag. And here we are. We were base. Base was an official active clan for a long time. Now I think I'm the only person on the server running the tag. I think I still have access to E.E. Kami ships. I'm still, I'm still maintaining them for you. All right, nomads. Now, now you gotta realize this is great because so nomads don't have shields. So if you just fire a torpedo at them, really more than one torpedo would be good. Let's get some speed and engine kill it. You have to land one though. Now, I don't feel like I'm going very fast. Wow, this is... I'm getting killed. Okay, this is not good. We can't, we can't engine kill out too far. Let's, let's engine kill out. Well, I'm getting annihilated. We're going to have to do something here. Oh dear, I blew myself up. I fired the... I fired the torpedo and he was right on me. I didn't realize that. Respawn. Okay, you can only get one life here. Can we do it again? Normally, you could just if you fire a torpedo at range, you can take them all out at once. All right, that didn't go well. But they're starting to show up on the board again. All right, let's try that again. Now, the whole idea behind me doing this was I was going to fly this ship out of here because it was a dead system. Go to. And my old Enemy thing where I would mission waypoint. Refer to do the missions for specific instructions. and then save the... We're going we're gonna to cut out. We're not going to jump out of... Uh, jump out of cruise that close this time. We're going we're gonna to drop out about 3k. But my old my old issue thing where I would I would get a bunch of nomad weapons and then fly them back and forth between you know the ship and Omicron Minor just to stock up on nomad weapons, which we should really even see if that's worth doing. Cause I mean it's not like I'm in an active recruitment zone right now, and if I really need a set a pair, you know a set of nomad guns, we could always set somebody up and we could all go get them together. If I was doing base recruitment. I think before I would do base recruitment, I'd have to get some of the old timers. You know, if if uh, if if Mr. Bonkers and Rambler, and you know, if they want to come back, if Grisha wanted to come back, I don't know if he'd come back. Now that he's back in New Zealand, he might come back. Bring all of Draco back at some point. I know we were all considering Star Citizen for a while, but <laughs> oh yeah, that's just oh goodness, maybe someday, right? After it goes free to play. <laughs> you know that's inevitable, right? Everyone's going to have spent all this money on ships, and then they're going to have to make it a free-to-play just to get people to play it and you know, enough people going, because it's just... it's Unless they actually make it fun. It's, it's hyper-accurate. It's a hyper-accurate space simulation, which just makes me glad I'm not living in the future, basically, so far. Because the future looks like it's really annoying. Oh, I get that. Oh, that's just... Spam number. Okay, let's cut. Engine kill. We'll go in in an engine kill state. Okay, now. Target it. Come on. Hostile ships in range. We've marked them to make them easier to spot. This is how I was supposed to be doing it. Okay, now, now we now we clear out. Come on. We're 
gonna have to run and gun these guys. Do they pursue? No. Alright. Oh, holy crap. One of them's pursuing. Now that's a difference. Normally. Normally when you when you do a reverse engine kill, nobody pursues. Robocop, what have you been doing in this server? What have what have you done? New things! You got something. Probably a nomad gun. Sometimes you get artifacts. There are more nomad points at the waypoint. Looks like there are more hostiles at the next waypoint. Take them out too. Okay, let's 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 charge ourselves like up. We'll use some bats. There's no time limit on these, so let's see, what do we get? And then a nomad energy blaster, okay. I'm not sure it's worth driving it all the way out anywhere. No cargo. Shields are pretty much full now. Okay, we got one on, on track. That's that one we tracked before. Shoot at the, the larger group now. They're coming in gun range. Get out of, get out of there. We weakened some of them. That's the trick. Even if you don't land... Okay, I hit the wrong button. I'm trying to beam. Come on, put the guns into them. Engine kill it. Parallel them. Come on in. You can see that I've got all I've got a full whack of guns that are geared towards hunting nomads. The Thunderbolt, I was it? Ooh, almost got taken out on that one. They, they raked me pretty good on that one. Raked. Raked me with fire. I didn't say anything. See the um They're still pursuing. That's that's different. Come on, give me the give me some shields back. Pursuing when you're when you're when you're an engine kill, that's different. That's a different dynamic to this whole game. It really takes away a lot of the uh the technique of using the saber. Some it looks like we got backup. We got some order backup oh, that that comes with it for the price. More nomads. Oh, this is gonna be tough. Fire. Hopefully, the, we, they, those things blow up and take out a bunch of them. Took out at least one. Pick them off one by one. Keep your speed up, and then they usually don't track very well. They're gonna kill the uh, the order ships eventually. Come on. And if the engine kill's not working, you gotta be really judicious about it. I don't know if I got them or if they got them. Fire. That was a bunch of massed fire on him there. The, the saber, there we go, they got him. The saber does not have the maneuverability of an eagle. But normally, you can, you can compensate for that, but it has really good strafing capabilities. I'm using strafe to tighten the turn up there a little bit. You can use it either direction, either to kick the rear end out a little bit to make the time, the, the, the turn tighter, not the tight turner. How is Kathleen Turner doing nowadays? That's all there. That's a different kind of story. Okay, we're losing our allies. We're not killing fast enough here. Still three nomads. I don't want to use torpedoes here. All right, let's target. Let's let's see. We baited this one in by not aiming at him. Let's put him uh, evasive. Two 
Two to go. This is fun. I've not done this in a while. He's under a lot of fire. Last one. Last target. He's not well. You did it. The area is clear. Well done. Mission Commission signing off. Whew! That was that was a challenge. Kick it up. We're close to Bastion Station. We can we can check that out and see if they have missions. Are there missions at Bastion? Yeah, I plan on just just exploring this a little bit more. There's the Omicron Miner Jump Hole, Alaska Jump Hole. You can get into Alaska from here. How did we're in Alaska? The end. Up? That might you know that might be a non-functioning jump hole because there's a call. Oh dear, telephone, telephone. Let's do the time warp again. That was a bounty hunter mission. That's interesting. A bounty hunter. Didn't expect that. So here we have Bastion. Bastion is a bigger deal than, than Sentinel Base. Sentinel Base is a little outpost. That again is neat because it was named after the clan that we were when we came over. So it's like, hey, it's the Sentinel Base. But it's way out in the middle of nowhere. So we, we actually never used it as a base. What did we use? Mostly Bretonia. We were mostly in Bretonia when we were the Sentinels. That's where everybody hung out. But this is a nice deal. This is a nice... Uh, Acknowledged. Your request to dock is granted. I'm gonna have to see what proceed. version of the mod I'm running. I think I got the latest. I think I got the latest. And here we are. We're in. We're in. We've got to do some repairs. Obviously, there's nothing on here where I've, I've trimmed anything, so we want to repair, repair everything. Complete. And what did we get out of that? See, we've got a full weapon load out here. Blasters over cannons. So in theory, it might be worth it to drop those off on my store ship over in Omicron Minor. This is kind of funky. I, I never understood exactly what this is supposed to be. It looks like it was built as like a bar built on like Crypticon's head or something like that. You know, it's just you can you buy stuff here. Alien orgs are really cheap, but it's a long, dangerous artifacts really cheap. Long, dangerous alien artifacts. This looks like it might be a sell best known price. Yeah, we have to figure out the trade route on that. Dangerous alien artifacts. They've added stuff to the game here. Maybe you can find them. And anything funky as far as equipment? But yeah, there's some Reavers. You can get the Tizona del Cid. That's critical. Lancers. It's a good mix. Cannonballs. Firestalkers. The Neutralizer. Neutralizer is an EMP. It takes out shields. That's an interesting play. Uh, what we've got, you know, here we'll, we'll show you what we're running on on this loadout. I've got Thunderbolts, which is, again, it's a modded weapon in this game, which, you know, it's a fast, you know, fast projectile, good refire rate, heavy damage, and looks pretty. It's a, it's a Liberty cannon. You know, it's a nice blue laser beam. And then we have blasters over cannons. The blasters shoot faster. The cannons have a heavier hit. When you when you mix them, you end up getting a more consistent pattern because it's it's all the timing is a little bit shifted, and so you get a more consistent stream of bullets. So that's why it's good to have two and two. And we've got a death hand, a death hand turret, class nine. That's another heavy hitter. Pretty, it's a pretty. That's a you know it's the best laser turret the order has to offer. Sun Slayer, obviously for shooting down nomads. Uh, any any missions here? If missions have returned to Omicron Major in a big way, anything? Yeah, look at this. Look at the job board. Nothing here. Bounty hunter. Nice of you to come back, Trent. Good to see you again. Thanks. What's next for me? As it turns out, I do need someone for a mission. What else? Sounds okay so far. 
540, Nomads. Let's decline and see if the other one's more money. Welcome back, Mr. 560. And we got backup on that one. Okay, let's try. Let's do the, the difficulty 39. Excellent. Good luck. And that will put us back near, um, I'll take us to the Omicron Minor jump hole. I can show, give you a, a brief glimpse of Omicron Minor there. Maybe give you a slightly better tour of Sentinel Base. Enemy ships will be at the mission way if we don't get killed. Refer to the nav map for specific instructions. Get, getting killed is a thing, you know. It's... But wow, this is, you know, this opens up all kinds of different modes of gameplay then. Very nice. Very nice. How much money have I got on this thing? 56 million. I've got one with 250 million. We've got enough cash. I mean, for 500 million, you can get a battleship, but only if you've got an active clan. So. And the theory behind that was if you had. If, if having an active clan, if being a recognized clan, was part of the requirement to having a battleship. If you started griefing people with the battleships or doing something really annoying, they could just withdraw your uh, clan status and move your battleships to the the wrong, you know, Alaska system. There's there's two Alaska systems on this server. One is the one you can get to normally, and the other one is the single player one, which um, of course you can't do anything with. There's nothing in it. That's where all my battleships are right now. <laughs> They're in the holding zone. But I still have them. I can still go. You can go there. You can look at them. You can fantasize that you're just relaxing in your quarters on the battleship and that you're perfectly safe from everybody else. Of course, if you're um, if, if other people have their battleships there, then you can have battleship battles right there and you can't affect the rest of the server. It's kind of nice. There's hardly anybody who's doing that, so we'll have to just see how it, how it goes. All right. Now, we need to get into position here. In point three, they're going to come on scope. Come on, lock it up. Give me a target. Hostile ships in range. We've marked them Break. to make them easier to spot. I'm trying to... Wait, these guys seem faster. They come in really quick anymore. But, as you can see, that volley particularly worked well. Now we only have to deal with three nomads. And gunning down three nomads is, is significantly better than having to gun down 12. Or 15, or however many you kill. Dude. Tracking failure usually comes up if you've got something that you're full of. So it's probably dropping bats and bots. This makes no sense. Nanobots, of course, fix your hull. Bats recharge our batteries, they recharge your shields. engine kill back all these revert hit the reversers and tighten that turn up a little bit there's techniques vaporize him I'm expecting more come on come on I'm up I don't know if it's a time related thing for more here or a distance thing but there's gonna be more There we are. Torpedo away. We're behind this rock. It's not good. You can lose torpedoes that way. Okay, we're down to four here. That's a huge improvement. After four, it gets, starts to get difficult to survive. And right now, I'm having a little bit of trouble. There we are. Getting around on Theoretically, I can just keep firing. I don't really use any energy because I'm mostly using, uh... I use using, you know, those, the, those three guns are using some energy. The Thunderbolts and the, what's it called? I wonder if they, if they recalibrate that a little bit. Because normally, 
you the, the, my gun energy is my yellow energy. And that's why it's important to use nomad weapons, because they don't use any energy. They're their own energy source. I feel like I could be using fancier, dancier moves here, a little more strafe. To keep the turn going. It's sometimes worthwhile to go to and attack the non-targeted one, because the one that's targeted a lot of times will go non-aggressive, it'll just try to avoid, and then the one that's, that thinks it's safe, the smaller red reticle there, will be more aggressive and come straight at you. I can't seem to find it. So we're just gonna loop around, keep pounding this guy. He's almost dead. Let's, let's switch targets. You might say, why? Because sometimes you get to that last one, then you get more of them coming. That'd be really helpful if your last one doesn't need a lot to get killed. Okay. We still have a mission waypoint. That means another wave is coming. Probably from the source of the mission waypoint. Maybe not. Come on. Okay. Gang. We're here. Sometimes one spawns just somewhere out of the way and hangs things up and you gotta go find them. And that's a little bit, a little bit annoying. Come on. You gotta find this guy. Where is he hiding? We've got a cowardly nomad. That's an infrequent glitch, but it does happen. There we are. See, I told you. And now he's engaged. We'll give him two torpedoes. Come to the torpedo. Torpedo. Oh more no! At the next waypoint. More of them. That's okay. I'm having fun. And you, you know, you can see it is a bit of you know, this is a long mission. It's a little bit of a grind. But you know, if you're enjoying what you're doing, it's different. You know, um, if I did 15 of these in a row, then obviously, you know, I'm not going to do any more. Okay, let's torpedoes. Torpedoes. I'm trying to pick a scattering of, of them, but it's not real critical which ones get fired on, as long as you fire on some of them. And you'll get more than one kill per torpedo, because they're going to be in formation. And the blast radius on these is pretty good. So now we've, we've gotten that down to three. I'm extremely excited about all this. This is, you know, it's a T button to get a target. T, the T key, T key. They, it, it's a funny thing. The way the AI, AI usually works is that if you're in thrusters, they have a harder time hitting you. Whereas if uh, you, if you're going slower, I mean that's logical, but you would think they could they could still lead well enough. We got more incoming. That's not good. That's not good. Okay. Torpedo, torpedo, this is a lot of them. Torpedo. Okay, now it's gonna get, this is gonna get interesting. And somewhat dangerous. We're gonna have to try, we're gonna have to try and do, get behind some cover here. Then engine kill out. That cover didn't work very well. Get the momentum going in our direction. Wow, this is, they're really on me like blue. And again, Okay, let's see. What can we do here? What's the mine? Do I have a mine on this? I don't have a mine? Normally E is mine. Um, I'm kind of in trouble here. Without the ability to kind of retreat... They're really on me. There's too many to gun. Are we, are we, who are we, who's still on us? That guy. 
target target the one that's closest. Okay, we got some room. Now. Get back into battle. You're not being paid to run. I'm not getting paid to get killed either. You're back within range of the waypoint. Try I asked to knock my way. own shields out. No, we're not gonna keep it that way. We're gonna try and get the hell away here, because those torpedoes didn't do much. I don't think we landed anymore. This this got exponentially harder now, folks. Okay, what do we do here? They're all on us. We got we were supposed to get some kind of help, weren't we? Okay, let's go up around here. Try to use as much cover as we can to get our shields back up. And if we get out of range of the waypoint, then that should give us some range too. Then they'll stop coming. Get back into battle. You're not being paid to run. I got 40 seconds, so I'm going to try and toss as many torpedoes in at these people as I can. You're back within range of the waypoint. Try to keep it that way. I'm using the waypoint as a technique here, where we've just dumped a whole bunch of torpedoes at them. All right. Whew. Now there's only two. I didn't have torpedoes. I do not know that I'd be able to pull this mission. Maybe with cannonball missiles. Cannonball should take him down too. Give me a target. If you hit D, you should get the closest target hit. I believe R gives you, ro rotates through targets. Alright. Come here, you nomad son of a bitch. Interesting, you didn't automatically select on that. There we go. Booyah. We show area is clear. Good job. Mission commission out. Okay. Let's give you a quick glimpse into Omicron Minor. Whew, what do we get? Now what are we carrying now? No, no artifacts, darn it. But a whole bunch of weapons. So at some point we can, and maybe now isn't a bad time. But the trick is going back and forth between here. There is there is a trick to it. Dog. I'm not sure I'm in the mood if I, have, if I have the focus to get all the way through the narrow channel. And if we can get through in through through Alaska, that's much better. Oh dear, we've got issues. What what ships are in the? We got no. Nope. Why are these nomads neutral? Okay, I'm gonna take advantage of that that glitch. There's Planet Torito, Universe's End, the Unknown Jump Hole. There's a bunch of stuff in here, but to get through here, there's as I recall, I don't know if you can see it. It's, it's, there's a very narrow passage of mines and stuff like that, which I don't think you can see. Doc. We'll explore that a little bit later. Maybe we'll use the, in the other seat. We'll use the CSV for that. Or we'll bring another ship up. Something. Or we'll drive this one over. But right now, we're, this, this video, we're focusing on Major. So I call Universe's End is a good start point. For um, there's some friendly Anubai. Let's take a look at the the path to Alaska. Now, Alaska, I think, is the, in the the single player. Maybe because I just finished a mission that's glitched out, and the nomads are neutral. We'll take advantage of that. Right. 
So I don't remember if this jump hole works. This might this might be glitched to the you know where it's it's supposed to go to the single player. This is the way in from the single player game. So it might not take us to the good Alaska. If it does, then we have all kinds of other options. Maybe it's a new jump hole. Something that was in the mod that I wasn't aware of. Obviously, some stuff has changed here because I mean, we didn't have missions in Major for a long time. Now we do. And they're pursuing even when you do the engine kill uh, trick. I mean, that's... That's something that's been a staple for Microsoft Freelancer for as long as I can remember. I, I go back to when this game came out. I mean, I was playing this at least... It came out in 2003. I had it at least in 2004. And we've got fr we got some friends. But here's the nice thing about Nomads. Okay, wait a minute. Did he modify those? There are... So there were for at least a little while Nomads with Cruise Disruptors. No man's with cruise disruptors is a dangerous thing, but at least these guys didn't get in range to hit me with one, so... And yeah, I think I think Robocop might have added cruise disruptors, too. The, the nomads are adapting. That's different. That's different if they've, if they've set it up. So that now you can... Now they'll pursue... Some of them, at least, will pursue while you're doing the engine kill fly backwards trick. That's, that's not a minor development, ladies and gentlemen. It's a, it's a pretty big system. Airlock Lair Top. Oh, that's right. There was a, a whole deal here where you could, there was a mission where you could go in and fight like this massive amount of nomads and nomad battleships and you can get an item. like I think it's called an energy core or something like that. And then if you bring it back to New York... You could get a tremendous amount of money. We're not going to worry about though this. This this looks dangerous. Stop. This looks dangerous. What are these things here? Are we going to deal with explosive gases? Just lots of spiky Shield things. Fail. Yep. So we got explosive Shield gases fail. to go through. So that's a challenge. But does this work? It does. We can get to Alaska. All right. I want to make sure that jump that... And first of all, I want to make sure I, I can see that that jump hole. Find out where it is. And I want to go there with my other ship. My, my other... My big money ship. How do we get here from there? What is the story? Okay, we're... We're on the map. Oh, dear. Nomads fighters. Okay, we're, we're surrounded by fighters and we are not in a good position. Yep, they've got cruise disruptors. I think that's the difference. You see a Nomad, it doesn't have the, the cruise disruptor. These have cruise disruptors. But I think the Nomad fighters are a little bit light, more lightly armored. Come on. Lock up, baby. Lock up. I didn't, re I didn't really... Uh, let's see. Do these guys track? No. They're not tracking me. Torpedo for you. Ba boom, ba boom. All right, that's better. But the best part about this is now it will be a lot easier to bring uh, to bring my weapons back to base, unless this is all sealed up somehow too. I can bring these to um, to my starship in Alaska. It's been a while since I've done two uh, two accounts at once. <laughs> Basically, you know, set the ship up, let it idle out in space, switch users on Windows, and then drop from one to another. We could do that. If my other starship isn't already full. Yeah, 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 you're beating me up. I'm gonna have Boku damage to deal with at some point, but we're just gonna blast the crap out of it. Now, before more show up, where am I? 
all the way at the top of the map. Well, I know there's bases down here. Now we might want to do the time warp again on this because this is going to take a while. That's a, this is a big map. As we pass points of interest. What's over here? That might just be the normal... That might just be the normal patrol path. We'll check it out. Never know, maybe there's a... Uh, a oh dear. Those are fighters. Throw some, some countermeasures up. That might be the Nomad Patrol Path. Let's not do that. Let's continue heading here. Yeah, the countermeasures will counter the, uh, the cruise disruptors, but they're fast. Those missiles are fast, so you have to be really on top of that. All right, let's do the time warp again. Now, I'm I'm not likely to go and, and finish the the Omicron <laughs> Major completely. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna come back to that at some point because I remember that that Nomad Lair was not intended to be a solo capable kind of thing. You, you're supposed to have friends. You're supposed to have ideally capital ships. You're supposed to go in with battleships, blast the crap out of everything. You had to blow shield generators and stuff to get in. That was really elaborate, but it's not something you're going to pull off in a saber by yourself. It's just not. No, no, that's not going to not going to work for you. Not going to fly, my friend. And uh, that's just the way it is. We're we're halfway there. We picked anything up on the radar on the scope here. Navy defenders. That's interesting. I'm only neutral with the navy. We can fix that. As I recall, Nomads, Outcasts, Xenos, Red Hessians, they all hate me. Order in the Bounty Hunters Guild. We can we can do some some anti some counter outcast stuff. And shooting down outcasts is a great way to uh, to get in with the Corsairs. So, you know, we can make this we can make it interesting here. What are these? That's probably more more Liberty Defender Elites. They're neat. Can we get a scan on them? Diamondbacks. They're running four Diamondbacks and a Debilitator. That's a, that's a really great weapon loadout. But if you're an NPC, because the Diamondbacks take a huge, you get three shots off of your out of your your blast before you run out of energy. But the NPCs don't have to worry about energy. They have unlimited energy. So they can just unleash absolute all unholy hell on you with four Diamondbacks. I know Draco would have loved that if Diamondbacks didn't take energy. That was there. They all, they all used to mount one Diamondback just for style. And it hampered them a little bit. It wasn't as effective a gun loadout, but you didn't notice because they just blasted the crap out of everybody. It was great. Good times. Good times. Let's do the time warp again. Okay, if you look here, if we look on the... Uh, if we look on, on the target, we have... The Edmund Fitzgerald! Which has some stuff on it that might be of interest. I think there's some guns. There's some cargo on that. We could go after the Edmund Fitzgerald at some point and loot that puppy. But where are we now? We should be, is it here? I thought, I thought I'd hit the point pretty close. Interesting homage to the real Edmund Fitzgerald, you know. Here we are, Junior Shipyard. That's where we want to go. Juno is my base in Alaska. That's where I've got other ships going on.
Not this account, I don't think, though. That ship's in another... Your ship's in another castle. I think it's in my other account. But I can set that up on a different Windows account. Roger that. Your request and then to transfer from one to another. Please proceed to dock two. Not going to show that. That'll be its own video, I think. We'll show that technique another time. This this video's probably long enough. We've done it enough. But it's fun. It goes quick. The time does go quick. Oh, where does the time go? So we've got another way into... I mean, before it used to be very difficult to get into into Omicron Major. And now we can get... We have an easy way in. There's, there's some explosive stuff. Some bad explosive stuff there. But we can, at least we can get around it. We're reloaded. We can repair. Repair complete. No swearing allowed on the server. And here we have it. You know, and th this this system I know well. I've been here all the time. This we have lots of systems, and they're uh, systems, lots of uh, missions, and they're they're higher paying even. So those were about half a million. Oh, these. Or make a liar out of me. You can you can get seven eight hundred. Uh, of course, yeah. Maybe it's because. Yeah, well, this is another time. We'll do this another time. <laughs> On this note, this is your Black Knight, ladies and gentlemen. Have a great night. <laughs>